Hi everyone, welcome to week 11 of first grade. Um, this week in math, we are going to be learning about understanding true and false equations. So there are two parts to that. Number one, teaching the kids what true and false mean. Um, a lot of them probably already know what true means just because they've been taught to tell the truth. But false is like, I have no idea. So we're going to be teaching them what true and false equations are, first of all. And then second of all, we're going to teach them how to decide if an equation is true or if it's false. So I have two equations up here. I have 3 plus 3 equals 6 and 2 plus 2 equals 7. So this is going to help them in a lot of things, but it's also going to help them on their I ready. Sometimes they get asked, is it, you know, is it true or false that this equation is this or whatever? And if they don't understand what a true, and, a true or false equation is, how are they going to succeed on that question? They're not going to, is the answer. I mean, it's very, very likely that they're not going to succeed on that question. So we want to help them be successful and it will help them in other aspects of their life as they grow up and go through school. So we'll teach them to, well, you're gonna have to work the problem out, right? If, if it's asking, is this, is three plus three, three plus three equals six, is that true or is that false? Okay, so they would have to work the problem out, three plus three, and that of course they'll come to find out that yes, three plus three is six, so this answer is true. 2 plus 2 equals 7, you're going to have to work that problem out, work through it. Is 2 plus 2, what do we, a lot of them should know what that means because we've gone through our doubles. Um, so they're going to come to find out that 2 plus 2 is in fact 4, not 7. So 2 plus 2 equals 7 is a false equation because 2 plus 2 does not equal 7, it equals 4. So. Um, those are the two parts of what our math is going to look like this week. Um, the way I teach true and false is teaching them that true is something that is real. It actually is real and exists. And false is something that is not real. Like um, anything, like an, a, an imaginary dragon is not a real thing. So if somebody said, is it true or false that you are friends with an imaginary dragon? Well, that would be false, right? Because they are not actually, uh, they're not actually friends with a dragon because dragons don't exist. So true is something that is real and exists and false is something that is not real and does not exist or is not accurate. Um, the, that's the way that I teach true and false. And so far, I think that kids understand it, I hope. So anyways, um, mostly that's what this week is going to be about, just understanding true and false. So it's not so much going to be about the math, but about understanding what true and false means. So if you have any questions throughout the week, please, of course, contact Miss Cindy or I. Otherwise, um, we will be, we will just see you guys next week. Um, and I'm, I am hoping to find some good YouTubes about true and false also that I can send you as well that can help f for those of you that are doing distance learning or those of you that like to have supplemental things to help you at home. Okay, we will see you next week. I hope you have a good week. Thanks, bye.